Are you somebody that struggles with low back pain chronically or maybe even leg pain every time you stand up and begin to walk around or maybe you're on your feet for 10 minutes or more or you go to the grocery store and by the time you're done, your low back and your legs just feel terrible. If that sounds familiar, this video is gonna be great for you. Hey, I'm Dr. Ian Putney from Wellington Family Chiropractic and today I wanna to talk about a common condition that we see and treat in our office called lumbar stenosis. So uh, this is a condition in the low back where either the central canal of the spine or the neural foramen uh, of the spine begin to get stenotic, or in other words, they're getting more narrow. So when we talk about the central canal, we're literally talking about the hole in the middle of the spine that the spinal cord is you know, feeding through, and the neural foramen is the holes on the side where the nerve is coming through. And so what we'll see uh, a lot of times in our elderly population is over time, due to degeneration that's built up, we'll get a narrowing of those structures, and that can cause problems in the low back and most fre and, and frequently problems in the legs. So typically for these patients, when they come in and I go through with the history and talk to them about their pain, they'll tell me as soon as they get up, their back begins to get tight, and maybe once they're on their feet for a few minutes or more, They'll start to maybe develop tingling in their thighs or their legs, maybe in their toes. Uh, maybe over time, their legs feel weak the longer they're standing or walking. And that's a telltale sign of a stenotic patient. Uh, and typically, they'll also say, if I sit down, my legs get a lot better, or that tingling or that nervy type feeling in my leg improves. Um, these things can point towards stenosis. And so today, I want to talk about what can you do for it? And what are your expectations if you've been diagnosed with it? When we're talking about true stenotic patients, it's very important to understand that it has come on over a long time. It's not a quick process. It's a degenerative process where either through degeneration of the bone or the structures has narrowed the canal or maybe uh, a thickening of the ligaments around those areas has developed over time. But in all those patients, it's taken a long time to get there. So on the front end, one thing I always tell my patients is you're going to have to be patient uh, and adjust your expectations. This won't go, over, go away overnight. And in fact, a lot of these patients need continued care and support uh, for their, for their uh, symptoms. So again, typically with lumbar stenosis, they almost always get worse uh, with extension, which extension is more of an upright position or even leaving, leaning back. So these patients always feel worse when they're on their feet for an extended period of time. Or, you know, a common complaint I get is I go to the grocery store and by the time I get in there, I can start to feel my legs acting up. But you know what, if I lean forward on the grocery cart and just kind of bend forward, my legs get a little, little bit better and I can push that cart through the grocery store. As long as I don't stand up straight for that long, it's actually a little better. And that's very common because opposite of extension, or leaning backwards or upright is flexion. So if you take these patients and you lean them forward in different positions, a lot of times their symptoms improve. In fact, we've got a table where the bottom half just tilts down and you can have those patients lay flat on that table, drop the, uh, the piece that basically lowers their feet towards the ground and just laying there in that position for a few minutes, they'll tell you their symptoms are better. And the reason why that is, is because whenever we extend, those structures tend to get smaller. So the canal is under more pressure. The foramen typically is gonna close a little bit. And so your symptoms get worse because it's already too narrow versus when you flex or you're rounding forward, we're opening that area up. And that's why it feels so good for those stenotic patients. Like I said, it's a degenerative condition. It doesn't go away overnight, but there are things that you can do. So today, what I, want to, what I want to do is give you a couple easy exercises that you can do at home, or you know, if you find a place to sit down at the grocery store, or you're at the mall, or at the zoo with your kids or your grandkids, and you just gotta get some relief, some things that you can do that are really easy to open up the canal or the foramen, take some pressure off the nervous system in that area, hopefully relieve your symptoms, and just allow you to enjoy your day. And if you do them periodically throughout the day, a lot of times you can improve over time. So. The next two videos, I'm just going to show you two easy exercises to open up those areas, take some pressure off the nervous system, and decrease your symptoms. 
All right, so the first exercise I want to go over for the lumbar stenotic patient, or if you have stenosis, it's called a knee to chest exercise or stretch. It's a very simple, uh, easy thing to do. What you're going to do is find a flat surface and lay on your back, and then you're just going to bring your knees up, grab a hold of them, and you're going to pull your knees to your chest. Typically, I'll have patients hold for three to five seconds and then come right back to neutral and pull again. You're not trying to yank or pull too hard. You're just going until your knees naturally stop and then you come back. Now, the other thing you can do is if you just can't physically grab the front of your legs, you can wrap something behind it like a belt and then you'll have a pulley to pull your knees up into that position there. Uh, a lot of times this is a very effective exercise to decrease uh, whether it's low back uh, pain or some of those neurologic uh, symptoms those patients get in the leg. If they do a few sets of these, it can really help. What I'll prescribe for patients is I want them to do it three or four times a day. Uh, typically, this one obviously has to be done at home, but I'm going to show you next another way to flex or open up those structures while you're on the go. All you'll need is a chair or a place to sit down. Okay, so the second stretch or exercise for the lumbar stenotic patient is just a seated lumbar flexion exercise. Flexion, again, is meaning rounding. The reason why we're wanting to do this for the specific group of people is because that usually helps with their symptoms. So for this, all you need is a place to sit down. You're going to get to the edge of your seat, spread your knees slightly apart, and then you're going to bring your hands and bend forward. And what I usually tell people is think about reaching well behind you, almost like you're reaching as far as you can back behind your feet. And then you come right back to neutral. Sit up straight round and reach. So again, what we're trying to do for these patients is open up or flex the lumbar spine because typically that will improve their symptoms. I like this exercise a lot because it's effective, but you can also do it out in public. A lot of my lumbar stenotic patients have problems when they're at the grocery store or maybe they're at the ballpark and they're on their feet for a long time. <clears throat> they, their symptoms get worse and worse and they just need a break but if you can sit down and open up those structures, a lot of times the symptoms you're feeling either in your low back or in your legs will decrease and you can carry on and do what you're doing and not have to completely quit. So knees to chest, sitting lumbar flexion, two great exercises that can help ease some of those symptoms with stenosis. Hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon.